Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to deal with uh, SolidWorks Visualize Animation. So in this, you can see this is the bicycle assembly. In this, I'm going to apply the rotation animation as well as the front motion. So front wheel should rotate as well as back wheel as well as this pad pattern should rotate accordingly. So how to create these animations? So just let me show you what actually we need to do and how we need to work on creating the animations. So this is the selection tool. From here I will activate grouping mode. This is part and this is model mode. So right now I'm going to select the group mode and you can see this is the model tab from this drop down the entire assembly components you can see and here you can see the groups the first one is frame this is the frame you can see it is highlighted in orange color <coughs> outlines again the handle width it is showing in the preview also you can see the handle with the <coughs> front wheel and this is rear tire and these are the paddles and this is the sprocket with paddle link so now I want to create the rotation animation for this rear wheel so rear tire you can see for that i will just select this rear tire right click on this select the animation tab from the choose at rotation animation so before doing that what i can do first i need to put my the axis position on this rear tire so let me check where exactly the pivot positioning is there so let me activate preview mode yeah it is exactly in the center of the axis so i can use it for my reference now i'll just click on this time bar can you see this this is the blue color is the time bar and my axis of rotation is z not Y so I'm going to change it to Z and I'll just okay okay in this meanwhile same thing I want to create the rotation animation for panel as well as the front wheel right now I'm going to deal with panel so here can you see in this pocket i have added paddle as well as paddle 2 so if these are outside if i select only this sprocket only the sprocket will rotate not these paddles remember this concept so if i group that exactly in a single group it will take a single reference for this you can see according to this reference this paddle will rotate these two panel will rotate so if i create the separate animation for these paddles i need to again place the pivot position from this paddle center to exactly the sprocket center so it takes lots of time for that you just create a group in that you add paddle inside the sprocket and center the pivot exactly in the center so after positioning properly just I will right click on this and select animation and select the add rotation animation and here also I'm going to select this time bar and I'm going to change the axis of rotation to z axis so when I do that if I just play this animation the paddle but the rear wheel are rotating now so for now i'm going to deal with front wheel so the issue is 
if I select the front wheel, entire group with the handle and wheel getting selected. So what I can do now? So you can just move this one outside this group. Otherwise, we just click on this group. The only group will be selected. Just right click on this and select. Add rotation for this and the pivot position you can see it is exactly in the middle so we will activate this front tire and from here I am going to change it to axis of rotation to Z axis so when I play this the components are moving in a proper way right so let me pause it Now, what I will do, I will move this entire bicycle assembly somewhat in the front. So, I am going to create the manual movement for this. So, for that, from here, I am going to activate the model. So, entire model should select that model. For that model, I am going to add the animation. So, I want to move this component. So, for that, I will just right click on this and I will just select this animation and I will select this and keyframe. So shortcut is key. So I am going to move my time bar exactly here. So whatever the motion, whatever the animation I am going to add that should be exactly end here. Now I am going to move this. From here, activate move and just move your entire bicycle assembly like this. Okay. Now, when I just animate this, you can see this is the animation which I needed. So now, I'll just activate the fast preview mode you can just see how it exactly looks and just toggle off this move now I just want to save this whatever the animations I have created so let me just open this output tools from there I'm going to select animation you can rename it and the movie format is mp4 for me I just selected it mp4 and just frame timing start and end 150 and the frames per second is 13 for me and the total duration is 5 seconds and if I just click on start animation, the whatever the animation I have created will be saved. So this is all about creating and grouping animation. Grouping the assemblies, com assembly components to get a proper animation. So I hope everyone understood how to create the rotation animation as well as somewhat manual animations in the visualize so i hope you like this video please subscribe and share the video thank you